Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Gavin and Stacey. Hopefully you guys having a fantastic day. Dude, last episode, Nessa and Smith, they ended up in bed together. I feel bad for Dave, man. Because I know she's not going to keep it from him. She's probably going to tell him right away because she's going to feel bad about it, dude. Dave isn't a bad dude, so it's hard to root against him, you know, and just root 100% for Smithy. Even though I like Smithy as a character, he's like a great guy. He's funny, the whole shebang. Dave's doing a good job, dude, as a partner and as a, as a stepdad, dude. He takes care of the kid. He gave them a place to stay, the whole shebang. Him and Nessa align well in regards to their personality and all that kind of stuff. So he's not an easy person to root against. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why they did it that way. They wanted you, they wanted you to be torn. Like, they you want Smithy to be happy, but you also see Dave, who's just this nice guy doing he's supposed to be doing even though he's not the nicest to smithy he's always still been respectful to me except for the couple of occasions where he gave smithy some pushback when he just wanted to spend time with his kid saying like oh we don't want to get him off his sleep schedule and stuff like that but for the most part he's been respectful man to smithy and everybody else feel bad for the dude i wonder how this is gonna go and how he's gonna react when she tells him so yeah man uh let's just go ahead and jump to this episode we'll talk about more at the end hiya Gab, where have you been? I've been training for ages. Sorry, I had a meeting with Owen about. Actually, I've got no idea what it was about. Hang on a mm. sec, I'm just getting on the bus. Hiya. You're going in early. I know. Marco rang. He wants me to open up. He's going the dentist. I'm quite excited, I am. It's my first time opening up on my own. Anyway, shut up a minute. I've got something to tell you. What? I think I might be pregnant. Uh oh. Oh my God, seriously? Yeah, because when I woke up this morning, I felt really sick and I've got sore boobs. So what is that? They're all signs, Gav. They're things that happen. But have you done a test? No, I want to do it with you. I want you to be there. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I know. <laughs> Hang on a minute, I might have to take this. Nessa's just texted me. I've just had a text from Nessa. She just texted me. She just sent me a text. Nessa's just texted me. Mate, can I call you back? It's just I'm on the phone to Stacey. Right, hey. did you not hear what I just said? Yeah, Nessa sent you a text. I don't really see what the problem is. There's been no contact. Nothing. This is the first contact. She never texts. There's been no contact since that. But surely you talked to her about the baby, Neil? No, I've been talking to Brian and Gwen, calling when they've got the baby. I spoke to Dave twice. That was a barrel of laughs. Oh, right, no. Just calm down. Where are you? Outside your old man's house, aren't I? I'm gonna look at this extension with Dino. Hang on a minute. Babe. What's going on? It's Smithy. Is that a text from Nessa or something? Oh my God, serious? Nessa never texts. I didn't even know she could write. Right, did you just <laughs> tell Stacey? Yes. Are you a dick? Gav, Nessa's ringing me on the other line. I'll call you back. Okay, just don't tell her that. Oh God. Yes. What's going on there? I got you on the Bluetooth. Power walking, I am. Just trying to shift a few pounds for the wedding night. Ness, did you text Smithy? Yeah, I did as it goes. Why? Oh. I've not spoken to him since Essex. I know he's coming down this weekend, like with the boys. Just don't want it to be awkward. I mean, I'm going to be coming down with the boys this weekend. All she's done is make things awkward. Why? What does she say? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what she said. I've got it here. Yeah, you she's trying not to make it awkward. Hope you're okay. He like, bro. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, that could mean so many things. What's she trying to say? Well, I'm really excited, Gwen. We all are. I know, but this is the first time Gavin's friends this are going to get to see what I call my <laughs> Barry. I'm going to take him down the front. We're going to get some donuts, but some really candy floss. I don't think they'll have time. They'll probably just want to go straight out in Cardiff. Oh, Cardiff, schmardiff. I just wanted them to feel at home, so they didn't have to go out if they didn't want to. And look at this. I probably shouldn't show you this. It's just me being silly. Don't read anything into it other than... <laughs> it's just oh, something no. for them <laughs> to look at. But I like it, Gwen. I like being one of the boys, one of the gang, part of the crew. And of course, Doris is offered as well. She's got the rule. Uh, I bet she has. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I know what Doris wants and I know what she's after. She's not getting her hands on my boys. <laughs> <laughs> Doors be getting in, man. Dane? Dane? This is Dane. Dino. Yeah. Do you want a tea or a coffee? Uh, yeah, can I have half and half, please? Sorry? Like, can I have tea in the bottom half of the mug and then coffee in the top half of the mug, please? Bro. Oh, this right. Yeah, control. I started drinking it about 18 months ago. I call it a toffee or a key, but you can't ask for that in a cafe because they just bring you a toffee <laughs> or a key. Is it nice? I've no idea, Mick. I like it. Can I just say to you, as I do to everyone, yes, Dino sir. will never be working here on his own. I will always be here to monitor him. <laughs> <laughs> he had to make that clear. It's 
Well, it's your nap until you try it. I'm hardly anything, I think. A week, ten like. days. Have you done a test? But someone please tell me, what on earth is a choco rock? Oh, they're lush, they are. They're like chocolate and bits of rocks. Why don't you do them a fryer? Well, I'm doing a fry-up, of course I am, but this is the continental option. Oh, Bren, don't raise your voice at me, all right? <laughs> Sorry, Stace. I was just oh, going to no. say, I've got a variety pack. Well, I thought about that, I really did. But answer me this, who's going to eat the ricicles? Good point. Fair i got to get off. Dave's going Stonehenge. Party at 12. Pensioners. Well, who's having Neil, then, the baby, if we're going out? Who do you think? Gwen. Um, have you asked her yet? No. I'm just going to drop him round. What's she going to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she out of control. Hiya. Sorry I'm late. Hiya. Babe, there's so many. Clear blue, first response, answer one, answer two, true for you. Well, let's just get a lot of them. They're like a tenner each. We only need one, don't we? Let's ask the woman. No. Why? I know her. Natalie Lewis. She's a right bitch. Unless I wants her to fight with her dad and her brother. All right, Nat? I was nurse. Fine. How's your dad? How's your brother? Dad's all right. Wayne's still on crutches. <laughs> yeah. An old-fashioned stare-down. Right, so shall Hang we... Hang on, Gav. Excuse me, love. Where to's the fake tans? I'll show you now. Oh, God, I hate her. Come on, I'm not buying a test from her. She don't work on commission. I don't care. Let's go super drug. Who's that? It's Smithy. They've arrived. <sighs> Buddy. Hey. Now, you must be Dean. Dino. And is it your first time to Wales? Yeah. Christ, sui gummery. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, shall we show you where you stay in? <laughs> right. Fingers. Dirt box. Dino. Budgie. Swede. Gary, not Simon, no need to explain there. Chinese, Alan. Oh, Chinese Alan. <laughs> Step forward into my new bachelor paradise. <laughs> that text in business, I keep reading it, rereading. Smithy, all she said what was, hope you're okay. Exactly, hope. Hope you're okay. She's saying this hope. I've given her hope, false hope. I think she was just checking. Just don't leave me on my own with her this weekend. Not at all. Not ever. All right. Honestly, I think you're reading too much into this. Her and Dave are all yeah. right, you know. They set a date for the wedding and everything. <laughs> Sorry. She tell Dave that he just kind of shrugged it off. Or she keeping it from him? Do you something before you go out? Well, we'll probably eat later, so I'm all right, thanks. Me too. I'm not hungry, really. I should have a couple of omelets or something. Cheese, mushroom, ham, mm. tomato. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you come here in a minute? All right, how's it going, all right? Hello, Nessa. Hello, lovely. Bro. All right, Gav. All right, Nessa. Hi, Neil. Metro Smithy. He's, um. He's. Well, he's under the table, actually. All right, Smithy, what's occurring? <laughs> you betrayed me. All right. <laughs> How are you? <gasps> oh, I missed you. Actually, I might take him over to Bryn to see the boys. Gabby, come in, you want to come? Yeah, OK. Forget those omelets, Gwen. We're going to Bryn to see the boys. Oh, it's a shame. They're done now. No worries. I'll take them off your hands. Will you? All right. Stace, Ness is here. OK. Oh, Gwen. What are you doing tonight? Well, look at a few options. Nice. Elaine wants to go with the pictures, but Janet fancies the bingo, so I'm not well, really sure. You may sure. have to take a rain jack on all them. I need you to look after Neil for me, the baby. Oh, really? Right, so. Is there no pity? No. Better ring the girls, sir. I would. That went off. Here we go, mini burgers. And there's your uncle Budgie. Budge, do you want to hold? Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. I'm playing this. Oh, I really like him, you know. Yeah, I want one. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Dino, do you want to hold Neil? I want one. Right. 
What? Babies freak me out a bit. Why? I don't know, it's just... It looks like Smithy, but smaller. Like a mini version? Oh, no, for me, thanks. How comes you're not drunk, Jen? I can't really say. You think she might be up the duff? Nessa! Oh, oh my God! God. Oh. We're gonna say nothing! Oh, come on, Stace. We both know once you get a drink inside well, your that's mouth. That's the point. I'm not gonna have a drink inside me. I'm not drinking! A uh, point. You've got a point. She's not up the duff. I was lying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, for God's sake, Smithy. Shut up! Shut up! Oh I, I am talking to Owen Hughes, who, quite frankly, is a better friend to me than you have ever been. <laughs> so he always gets like this when he's drunk. How do you know? Two minutes. You don't know me. You don't even come out on me anymore. You live here. <laughs> right, let me show you, you know. You feel a bit weepy, Steve? Have you been drinking? Yeah, a few pints. Some shots. You overdone it, Brim. You don't know your limits. I don't. Oh, nurse. What have I become? Come on. <laughs> Fine. In through the nose, out through the mouth. <laughs> Dad says you set a date for a wedding. Yeah, June the 13th. You all right I to look after him. Neil? Yeah. Yeah. Why? I'll look after Neil. No worries. I have a feeling she's not going to be pregnant, man. Okay. She's going to have to the whole night or something. Yeah. Oh, never mind, babes. No, Billy. No, it's not. What? Stace? Stacy? Yeah, well, it's not our first try. I don't understand. I haven't been on the pedal for over a year. What are you talking about? I stopped taking it when we got married. I've been trying to get pregnant for over a year and you didn't tell me I'm why. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why did you think it was okay to do oh, something I don't like that? I think it's okay. Why did you do it then? Because I thought it would speed things up. What? Like, I thought if I got pregnant then we'd have to move out, we'd have to get a house, or I don't know. Stacey, you awesome. cannot make decisions like that without talking to me about it first. What is wrong with you? Exactly. No what is wrong with me, Gav? What if I can't have children? Tell me yeah, that sucks, dude. Man, I get why he was pissed off, but also, it's got to shake you up when you want to have kids, like, really bad. It's wild. It's crazy I've met so many people who want a kid so bad and how much they struggle to have children, how much work they had to put in, just have a couple of kids. So I can see why Stacey is freaking out. Um, I can never understand it personally, you know what I mean? Because I've never been through it, but I can see. But I also can see why he's frustrated because she didn't tell him. It's like poking holes in a condom, you know? Because that other person might not be ready for that, and you're like you're you're thrusting it upon them. And I had a feeling that's what was gonna happen. She was gonna take the pregnancy test, and it was gonna be negative. I was like, man, she's been really impatient about. It. I get the excitement, but I see why she was being impatient because she felt like it finally happened for her after trying for an entire year. And Gavin got over that really quick. And I think it's because he realized what she was dealing with was much bigger than that small act of betrayal or whatever you want to call it. I'm not even sure if I want to use the word betrayal. That's sneakiness, I guess. Because ultimately he wanted a kid anyway, so he kind of came to a conclusion that she came to a year ago and she just kind of <laughs> expedited the process because she wanted to get out of the house and stuff there and she wanted to move on to the next stage of her life, which still is kind of, yeah. We're still going to have some words. It was very sneaky. We're still going to have some words. But I guess him saying that, hey, she can't have a kid that outweighs everything else. It's a tough thing for somebody to go through when they really want children, as I said earlier. Heck, it might not even be her, dude. It could be him, you know? It could be like his boys aren't swimming or something. You know, you never know. It's not like she's out there trying with 30 other guys and it's not working for any of them. So there's, there's a good chance it might just be, it might be him. So I guess we'll find out in the next episode, man. 
Maybe. Or maybe she's in a pregnant. <laughs> we'll see. Very curious about the whole Nessa thing, man. Because Gavin said, yeah, they're all right, yada, yada, yada. They're still going through with their wedding, the whole shebang, and Dave is all right. He said something like that about Dave being all right. So I feel like maybe Nessa told him, and he was just like, it is what it is. I'm still going to be with you, maybe. Or maybe she's keeping him from him, because why tell him if nothing happened for sure? Because they don't know for sure if they even have sex. So that's up in the air. All right, folks, that is it. That is all for this one. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.